School leaders are concerned a hiring blitz may not bring in enough staff ahead of the start of a new school year. The division is still missing about a quarter of its workforce. And tonight, one school board member says that the climate inside of some of those schools needs to change. Richmond reporter Henry Graff is live at City Hall tonight to explain. Henry? Nikki, good evening to you. Jonathan Young says those vacancies are an immense obstacle at this point in time. All those new incentives aside, Jonathan Young also saying they need to evaluate the principals inside these classrooms at this point in time who may be contributing to that climate. The clock is ticking for Richmond Public Schools to make a slew of hires ahead of the start of the new school year. If we're unable to procure substitutes, that classrooms have to be split and that teachers have to assume uh, even more responsibilities and take on additional additional students. So, uh, yeah, are we concerned? Absolutely. RPS leaders say they've made great strides to fill vacancies across the division, hiring 42 teachers over the last two weeks. But still, RPS is short 163 teachers, along with 80 other positions. That includes bus drivers, cafeteria staff, custodians, nurses, and social workers. And those vacancies account for about one quarter of the division's workforce. We're preparing for all scenarios. At this point, um, I'm still optimistic that we're going to get those numbers down before the start of school. We're uh, continuing to go. 200 miles an hour in terms of recruitment. RPS is offering thousands in sign on bonuses for those moving from at least 50 miles away. And if they have experience, the division has now expanded the recruitment search to states including North Carolina, Maryland, and even Washington, D.C. To have 25.6% of our teachers call it quits is a damning indictment of Richmond Public Schools. There is no way around it. The superintendent will present the vacancy report to the school board and talk about how they plan to make many more hires before the start of school. Board member Jonathan Young says double-digit vacancies at some schools means principals should be evaluated as well, along with how they manage. I'm sorry, but it's just true. People do not quit jobs, they quit managers. Back out here live, the superintendent also wants to create a new task force to make teaching easier by taking away some of those administrative tasks teachers have to do right now so they can focus more on students in the classroom. Speaking of students, they do come back to school here in the city of Richmond coming up on August 29th. We are live and on your side tonight here outside Richmond City Hall. I'm Henry Graff, NBC 12 News. All right. Thank you, Henry. And they can